Hello. In this video, we will cover querying documents in Azure Cosmos DB with the MongoDB API flavor. We'll use something that most MongoDB developers are already familiar with, which is the MongoDB shell to execute some simple queries. In order to get started, I'm already on the Azure portal and we'll navigate over to our Azure Cosmos DB database. So within the portal, find your Cosmos DB resource and open up the blade. As you can already see, I have an Anho Mongo account already created. And so I'll open that up. And then I'll navigate over to our quick start. So in the quick start, you conveniently put the command line for opening up your Mongo shell and automatically connecting over to your Cosmos DB database. So I'll copy that over. And I'll open up my terminal. And I'm already inside the directory with my Mongo shell, as you can see here. And so I'll paste in what I've copied over from the Azure portal. And like that, I'm connected to Azure Cosmos DB. So I can quickly show the databases. I have an admin, EDX, and foo database. Uh, for this video, I'll be using the EDX database. I'll show what collections I have in EDX. I have a query collection which I've already created, which includes 10 sample documents about volcanoes. And so I will quickly do a find to show what documents are inside this collection. As you can see, volcano data. And I'll verify that this has 10 documents. Perfect. Um, this is a little bit difficult to read, and so I can take just a simple document, and we can look, take a little bit closer look at its properties. And so I do have volcano data inside of this collection. Uh, we have the ID, which is Abu, volcano name, which is also Abu, uh, country, Japan, the region, location, elevation, type, status, and last known eruption. So let me just clear the screen. Okay, and so now we can do a simple query to just return the volcano uh, with the name Abu. And there you go. Uh, we have returned the document with Abu. And now we can do a little bit more advanced, a little bit more filtering on this. Um, so we could return all the volcanoes that have an elevation greater than 3000. As you can see here, there are one, two, three, four volcanoes that have an elevation greater than 3000. Um, it looks like there's only one volcano that's an, that has an elevation greater than 6000. And so if I were to rerun the same query for 6,000, we should get one document back. Perfect. Um, as you can see, this is a bit messy. And so we can decide to only take a select number of properties from this. And so I take the first query. So let me just clear the screen. So I take the first query, which I ran, which is the elevation uh, greater than 3,000. And close off the curly brackets and then we can decide to just have the name come out and so here we go and as you can see we have the four volcanoes with just their names um, if we want to verify that this is actually their elevations and they are actually greater than 3000 then we can also project out the elevation as you can see here these are all the volcanoes that have above 3000 elevations and so this is just some simple queryability and queries against the azure cosmos db mongodb api flavor database